Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Ethereum. Yesterday we were talking about potential breakdown and uh, it seems to have happened this morning. We need to investigate this now and see whether we are looking for some downside potential here or whether we're going to get a bounce. These are the things we're going to be looking at shortly, but first I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. Please smash that like button if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and leave us some feedback in the comment section below, whether that's coin requests or just anything you'd like to say about the videos, any way we can improve them. We're always eager to hear from um, our subscribers. Okay, so thank you very much. Let's jump into the price action. So we were talking about a few things here yesterday with Ethereum. We, we had this smaller five wave move within here, and we were talking about the fact that the second wave to the upside, basically here, didn't reach that impulsive trigger. And we were talking about the fact that we could have something like this play out, where we have this as an A, a B, and we're looking for a C wave to the downside. So there's two, there's a few ways of looking at this. We can either look at this as a completed Y wave into this position, though, like I said yesterday, the, the fact that we didn't quite reach this one, this uh, 0.618 of this W wave. I didn't really like it. So it is possible that we could be completed yet at 50%, but it is also possible that we are either in a flat correction to complete for the Y wave. And what we would be looking for then basically is if I just measure this move from here up into this zone here, we can see we've broken down past this one to one of this of this wave here. So what we would be looking for there is basically that we are forming a A to the upside, a B to the downside, and then looking for a five wave move to the upside and a C wave. Um, this is still possible, so we need to just bear in mind that this could, can play out. We could see this move to the upside here. Um, it's not as likely as the as what I think um, we could potentially be doing in the other option, but it is still possible. So typically speaking, this um, this has met the minimum requirement of a um, of a, a flat that's either going to be a running flat or a, sorry, an so basically a regular flat. If if we the ideal zone really is between this two three six and this one three eight two area. So it is possible we could see a little bit more of a move down, maybe towards this um, 1186 area, and then looking for a move to the upside here. Though so any kind of move to the upside, which we'll go over shortly, we need to just bear in mind there is a potential for it to face rejection and continue down. And this is because we're looking for the potential as well that we are within a B wave here, and we're looking for a move down towards this 862 area if we are following the diagonal option that we've been over in previous videos. So what we would be looking for here is basically whether this is an ABC to the upside with a five wave move. Alternatively, we could also see this as within this X wave store. So there's a few there's a few possibilities here. Like I said, um, oh, actually let me let me put this back on here. So if they if this is going to be a um an expanding diagonal what we would be looking for off the back of this move so so if we move down a little bit lower here maybe retest this 1186 area these this is all rough until we get the wave confirmation and we get a move up if this is playing out but then we could potentially look to target out this 1406 to this 1372 area if it's going to be an expanding diagonal alternatively we could look to target out somewhere between this 618 and this one to one area the 618 is um the common area for a running flat and one to one is the next common um, area within, within a running flat and a running flat just means that we don't move back up against above this a wave uh, high so that that's not covered so i can get rid of these the alternative is that we're still within this x wave and we're looking to move down into this zone basically what we would have here then is the potential that this whole move here is a move up in a B for, for a um, irregular flat, and then we're looking for the C wave to the downside. So with that being said, we, we can see here, if I just measure this, this move to the upside here, just bear with me one second, there we go. So we can see that this move to the upside came up into this 1382 area. So that's an ideal area for this wave B, if it's gonna be an irregular flat, and then Basically, within this move here, what we'd be looking at is potential for this to move. Oh, I've done this wrong. Let me just bring this back down to this high point here. So, potential to move down between this 
one two three six so it's eleven so one one nine eight area to this one one six six area if we move down into within this zone it could be possibly still an expanding flat here and what we would be looking for is good five wave structure within this move um, so there is a possibility we could be looking at this as a as within this x wave and then we'll have an additional push to the upside in a y wave at a one to one if i just measure this off here let's get rid of, rid of this fib at a one to one off of this low point what we would be looking at here is the potential that we could see a bounce towards this 1439 area if it does play out that would be a wxy like this and then we would be looking for continuation to the downside in my opinion because this would then complete this um complete this b wave so that's what we're looking out for so in the most current move to the downside there is a few ways of reading this and we're going to go over them so we because we can see here there's a bit of overlap at the top of this we can have this as a one two and then this is a one two three four and a five which would mean we'd have an additional fourth and a fifth wave within this move but it is also possible to read this as a one two three four and a five into here and we've got a wave two here this is one two three four five and then we have an additional wave to the downside so what we'd be looking at effectively uh, actually i think i've got this i've got this marked up if i bring up the object tree here and we look at this uh, there so if there's an extension to the downside here what we could have is a series of five wave moves that are, are sort of effectively we would be within this green third wave here and this is just plotted out roughly until we get more information um, in confirmation from the structures but basically what we could be looking for here if it plays out has, as i've sort of roughly pl plotted it out here we could be looking for potential of a move down towards this um 11 1174 to this 1159 area so if this does play out like this what we could be looking at is a five wave move to the downside like this and that would fit in with this um which would fit in with this uh expanding flat here which then could mean we do have potential to move up towards this so though with that being said we have this bit of a um if i just oh if i just drag this over here we can see that basically we we had this as a previous support zone which we bounced away from and then we broke through we retested it and we retested it again managed to break up above it but now we have lost that support so the um the thing to bear in mind here is this is going to be taken as um as a sign of weakness so if we do move up again whether that's from this current point here or whether we move up from further down this zone here could be potentially an area we find rejection on this 1253 all the way up to this 1285 zone could be could be um an area that's going to give us some rejection and i think if we move up into this area and face rejection again then then possibly instead of looking for this wxy to the upside actually what we would be is within the c wave already and we would have formed basically a1 a two and then we'd be looking for that third wave to the downside moving back above this 1352 area would invalidate the possibility of a impulse off of this move and if that happens we would have to take this as an abc to the downside and be looking for this y wave target so we need a bit more information to unfold here um we can see that basically we have these this series of possible fours and fives within this move where we're actually still just within a third wave these are hard to plot out accurately because if there's um if the extensions are not quite how we've plotted them out it might alter the figure effectively but this is the sort of i wouldn't really want to see a move down the past this 1139 moving past that becomes more likely that we actually are within the c wave and we're looking for this drop down to this 12 uh, 862 11 area so we just need to bear that in mind need a bit more time but we'll keep you up to date with some more updates on it so just want to say keep safe out there everyone please and remember if you're using if you are trading use correct risk management you know we use bybit and i like bybit because it's great when you set your trade up you can set your stop loss your take profit 
um, it shows you your liquidation price, everything just bef even before you've entered the trade. So you can plan it all out. You can plan how much you're willing to lose per trade. Really is a great platform. If you don't have an account in the description below, there's a Bybit, um, there's a Bybit affiliate link. If you sign up with that, with that, you know, it helps the team out. Also in the link below, there's the Discord. Jump in, general chat area, at mention a member of staff will be happy to help you out. So keep safe out there, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.